So we are at a little side shoot of the road. Um, don't exactly know where this goes because I'm pretty sure it's new since this was the area they were logging. Yeah, definitely new. But that's good because I can get my bike away from the road so no one fucking steals it. Everybody always trying to steal shit. So it's looking like they just uh, left an island of trees here. I've only made it around the first corner, if you could call it that. Might be doing that one. Looks like another island of trees there poking through the fog. Well, let's check it out. It's a fat ass oak leaf. That looks kind of all right. Let me get closer. All right, so we got a pretty nice red maple here we're gonna try. Hmm. Ah, what a view. I hear something making noise over there in the fog, making little taps. Now it's time for the sketchy part. Not technically holding on to anything, <laughs> just pushing. Heading back into the fog, wish me luck. One of the times when I was out in these woods, um, I, I don't remember the exact area. I think it was more that way, like a mile or so. So I was exploring uh, a chunk down section of the forest, like a newly cut down section, kind of like this. And I was approaching a tree line, kind of like this one. There was a big tree, had two trunks. It's double split like this, it comes out the bottom, two, two main trunks. So there's something, it, it was like a black human shaped blob it popped out on the right side of the tree and then it was only there for like a second and then it ducked back behind the same way it came out. We'll use this as a demonstration. So we'll say it was like that tree, although the tree was like this, it was forked at the bottom. The thing was on the right side of it, it popped out, 
kind of tilted its head this way and then popped right back in. But yeah, I immediately investigated right after. I walked not directly towards it like I am now. I cut off to the left without letting my eyes off the spot. I walked towards it at an angle until I got, you know, close enough to see behind the tree. Like I was kind of just wrapping around to the side. But I never saw anything leave. I did see a black squirrel like 10 trees behind it. So yeah, that's my spooky story from these woods. Although it didn't really seem very scary at the time. I was not afraid at all. Not to stroke my wiener or anything, but. Oh my God, that's a, we got another one. There's definitely gonna be a fucking porcupine here. Bastards, why did I get all the good trees? <laughs> the fucking temptation too, I still wanna try it. It just looks so good though. You got sick handholds all the way up. Yeah, it's too good, it's too good. I'll fucking carry this thing home and make a table out of it. <laughs> Is that illegal? Probably illegal. They're allowed to fucking chunk all this shit down, but if I take like a chunk like that, I'd probably get arrested for it. I might do it anyway though. <laughs> Alright. I've decided I'm going to try it. Probably not super far, because there's definitely something living here. Um, but I assume it's going to be living up higher. Worst case worst, we get spiked in the face by a porcupine, and it's a cruel, cruel climb back down. <laughs> I'm not letting go for nothing. Oh, it's going to be more difficult than I thought, too. It looks easy, but... I'm gonna wanna get off to the side of this and then get a foot up on it. Got a tick. Cursed parasite, rise up and I will kill you! You little bastard. Make short work of this abomination. Execution. Squirrel's nest or something? I think that's the end of the road anyway. The next move would be a... I guess it wouldn't be too bad with that bump there, but... It'd still be scary as fuck. <laughs> What did I do?
yeah, that was a really cool climb, but way too many hazards. Definitely not worth going any further on that one. Made it up to, to there. I don't know if I just caught that, but it just sounded like a fucking dog dying. Try to replay it with my mouth the best that I can. It was like, and then it just stopped. It's over that direction. <laughs> I'm halfway expecting something to just fucking, something huge just come running out of the fog at me. <laughs> 